Hey everyone, uh, welcome to The Psychologist. I uh, hope everyone's doing well in these crazy coronavirus times that we're living. Hope everyone's staying healthy. Um, yeah, it's just, it's pretty insane. I've been uh, moving my workshop home. Uh, here it is here. I, I moved out of my workshop uh, that was that was kind of downtown and I'm just working from home now uh, and I'm actually going to stay working from home. So uh, I just wanted to say too, I really appreciate everyone's support who's used me um, who's, who's been getting their Seikos into me and other watchers too, just really have appreciated everyone's support. And I'm so thankful, uh, that I've been able to work through this time, uh, with the support of you guys in this great community. So really thank you so much. Um, so to take everyone's minds off the whole coronavirus thing, I wanted to look pre, or I wanted to look briefly at finding center, talk a bit more about drilling out main plates uh, talk a bit more about uh, rejewel or, or dueling barrels in the 6-1 and 6-3 series Seiko movements. I had a question recently uh, posted on one of my previous uh, videos, and the question was about how do you find center before you start drilling? So we're going to look at today how we find center in the movement and also how we... Um, uh, Drill out the hole, how we find center, and there was another thing that I was going to talk about, but I've totally forgotten. So let's talk about how we find center in a 6105 uh, move. So before we start drilling, measuring, anything like that, the first thing that we need to do is fit our jewel for the barrel into the bridge first. Because remember, there's no drilling required here. We just press out the old brass bushing and then fit the jewel in the barrel. So a lot of you guys will probably be trying to rejewel your barrels. Uh, perhaps you're buying them from uh, Adrian at Vintage Time Australia. He does some great stuff getting these jewels manufactured. Um, this will kind of talk you through the process of exactly how to fit them. Now, it's crucial that we fit this jewel first because if our bottom hole in our main plate is oval, then we can't find dead center with an oval hole. It's very difficult. So we fit the jewel first and we line it up with the jewel and then we can, on the main plate, and then we can drill into the main plate. So fit your main plate, uh, fit your barrel bridge or train bridge, because it's all one, with the jewel, then mount it with the three screws onto the main plate, fit it into the clamps of the face plate in the lathe, and then we're ready to try and find center. Now we want to loosely fit these clamps so that we can still move our plate a little bit. The next thing we need to do is find rough center. So find something in the tailstock of your lathe or uh, uh, whatever kind of drilling tailstock or a different tailstock you might have. Uh, find something with a point so that we can find rough center. So what we want to do is we want to move our center and try and do this on the video camera. Move our main plate move our bridge so that we can find our rough center like so. Spin it around, loosen up these clamps so that the center is found. We loosen up those clamps and then once we think we've found center, we tighten them up. Now, simple, right? We've found the center and we can start drilling. Remove the, uh, remove the bridge and start drilling. Well, this isn't the case. I'll show you why. Now we're gonna get out my new toy, which is my new centering microscope that I just purchased. Um, it's a great centering scope. It's called the Skoll Centering Microscope. Uh, it's not a Swiss made scope. It's actually made in Korea. Uh, I paid about uh, 280 Canadian dollars for it, shipped here, had to pay some duties when it landed but it is fantastic. It's a 45 times centering microscope and I am so happy with this thing and it is opening me up to so many things uh, work-wise that I'm able to do. So let's see now why this isn't good enough to find now center. I have the, my new toy, which is the centering microscope mounted to the lathe tailstock. Now the purpose of the centering microscope, it has a, we'll just zoom in and have a look. It has crosshairs that you line up with the edge of the jewel or the inside of the jewel, not in the middle of the jewel, but with a known re known reference point. And you spin the piece and see if that point doesn't move. 
So what we'll do now is we'll have a look at why you don't just start drilling when you roughly found center with a pointed, uh, pointed object. And my lathe belt just broke. Well, let's do it without the lathe belt for now. We'll run it by hand. All right, so here's why. Does that look centered? Definitely not. So what we need to do is we need to tap the workpiece with a wooden mallet to find center. Now, if you just drilled now, if you took the, if you took the plate off and drilled through the bridge, what would happen? Well, you'd have a completely skew barrel and a completely skew hole. So we can now look and see. Well, once once what I'll do now is I'll, I'll tap the workpiece true, and then we can come back and have a look. All right, progress report. Let's have a look and see where we're at. We're close. We can also adjust our crosshairs to be at the edge of the jewel. We're close. But we're not quite there, so we'll keep okay. going. We're pretty much there. Now, we'll spin it, and we'll see that we have very minimal movement. We're a little bit out still, but that's nothing to worry about. That is totally within tolerance. So now, we've found center. So we can see that using a small or using a pointed piece in our tail in our drilling tail stock is not going to be accurate enough to find center. Now what we would do, we would fit our drill into our tail stock and we would remove our main plate or remove our bridge. So we can take the face plate out of the lathe and remove the bridge from the main plate. But we cannot change anything about the placement of the main plate on the lathe. I forgot to mention in the beginning too, it's important to make sure that you don't clamp your clamps onto the bridge. Because if you're, only, if you're clamping the bridge, you won't be able to remove the bridge. So you can only clamp on the tailstock itself or on the uh, on the um, oh, sorry on the main plate itself so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take the bridge off and we're going to look at the hole that I've already we have drilled. just the main plate mounted now so let's have a look we go in we can see a small wobble that's due to the fact that when we drilled it we used a drill bit and a drill bit is not the most precise way to cut a hole. Sorry, I got cut off there. The most precise way to drill a hole is with a boring bar. First you use your drill bit, then you use a boring bar to bore out, uh, and then you have a perfectly, uh, I guess that, that is the most precise way to be able to drill a hole. Now, I don't use drill bits generally uh, for these Seikos. I use the favorite, um, uh, it's from my favorite jeweling tool. It's the, uh, or the Scythe's jeweling tool. It's the cutter from those. So I use the cutters from those. Now, this small discrepancy from using a cutter like that or using a drill bit, it doesn't have a bearing on the uprightness of the barrel in these Seikos. It's not an issue. Um, it would be an issue if you were drilling something out like uh, an escape wheel uh, jewel hole, uh, even a, a train wheel jewel hole. But when it comes to a barrel, um, this kind of tolerance is totally fine on a barrel. So now once you've done that, once you've drilled your hole, you can uh, ream it out slightly to size. Um, I use a 1.6, 1 1.59, but it's actually a 1.6 reamer uh, that I use. It's not the half round, it's a, th it's a four, it's a four faceted reamer that I use. Uh, the common sights reamers are the half round. Um, so once you've done that, you can drill that out and then you can you can uh, watch my other video about how to fit the jewels. So hopefully this gives you a bit of an idea of how uh, important it is to keep things parallel, uh, uh, keep things centered uh, and also um, 
how uh, exactly you go about finding center when it comes to looking for uh, things like this or looking for center in a, in a Seiko main plate. So thanks, guys. I uh, hope you've enjoyed this. Please subscribe to my channel. Um, check out my website, thepsychologist.com, and also check out uh, my Instagram, at the psychologist. You'll see some pretty cool stuff on there. Um, and yeah, that's everything. Thanks, guys. Stay safe.